Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and today I'll be showing you guys how I do my brows. Now, don't let nobody fool you. Brows take all day. I know they take me all day. So, um, let me show you guys what I'll be using. Keep it simple. I'm just using a regular black. Brown is the color. Uh, LA color uh, eyebrow pencil. Got it from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. You get a two pack for a dollar. I'm just telling y'all what I use and how I do my brows. So, um, I have that simple brow pencil and I like the color black brown. I don't like black. It's just a little too dark for me. Um, now, I used to use the black, but yeah, once I discovered the black brown, I was like, this look good. It looks better. It looks more natural. So, I like the color black brown. All right, and of course, just showing you guys the things that I use. And you need one, and I have one of these brushes. Let me bring that in for y'all. Like the little kind of slanted, just a little small brush. Uh, child, you'll see what I use that for. All right, and of course, I have one of these with a little brush on it. There's different ones you can use. You can use the other one that goes. All right, so just showing y'all what I'll be using. Um, as I go and you always want to make sure your pencil is nice and sharp Nice and sharp want to make sure that pencil nice and sharp and on point because I need my pencil to be on point to do what I need it to do so all right the first thing I do Um, just I just kind of you know do like this and make sure my because y'all know y'all see I ain't got that much ain't got that much. Let me tell y'all real quick what happened to my files Back in the days when we was in high school, the thing was to shave them all off and draw them on with a pencil. Draw them back in with a pencil. Child, I'm telling y'all, if y'all watching this and y'all done did that before, put, put it down in the comments. Yes, I'm sure. Back in the days, that, that was the thing. Shave your brows off and draw them in with a pencil. Why? I do not know. I don't know why we did that. I don't know why that was the thing. But it was a hot mess. Hence why my brows never grew back in correctly. Don't do that, y'all. Don't do that. But they ain't doing that nine days no more. They not doing that. So, ain't nobody going to be doing that. I don't know what was. We was crazy back then. Crazy. So, anyway, all right. So, let's not make this a long video because doing brows take a long time. I'm not sugarcoating it, y'all. It take a long time to be doing your brows. If you want your brows to be on point, they take a little while. They don't take all day, y'all, but they take a little while. So, anyway, got my pencil all nice and short. And the first thing I like to do is I like to sculpt out my brows. Let me show y'all. Okay, yeah, y'all can see. I like I like starting at the bottom, creating that bottom, and I've been doing this for a long time, so I'm gonna try to slow it down for y'all. And it all depends on how you like your brows to look. And I do little light strokes. Little light strokes like that. See, see, that's how I want my arch. That's the kind of arch I want. That bottom is my arch. And your end comes to the end of your eyebrow like this. You want the end of it to come to the end of your brow. See, you want that to be lined up. Get that lined up. Okay, so you see how that is? Ooh, ooh, it ain't even finished yet. Okay, so let's do this side real quick. I just take my pencil. And I don't really have that much brows, so I ain't got to do too much. Like as far as, I, I keep them trimmed, you know. And I've been using the, uh, the uh, castor oil, the mango Jamaican black castor oil. I've been using that, and that's definitely been helping my brows grow back. Now, that, now they ain't going to be perfect now. They ain't going to be looking exactly alike. One may be a little higher, one may be a little lower, but I try to make them look perfectly, you know, match. But anyway, so y'all see how that's coming out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> y'all see it. And this part of your, your brow goes right here to where your nose begin. Right there, lined up with the nose. Lined up with the nose. Just telling y'all what I do. I'm trying to help y'all. Just trying to help y'all. Tell y'all what I do. Everybody, you know, everybody do what they do. I'm just showing y'all what I do. Okay, so y'all see how I did that real quick? Just, you just lightly, with your pencil, lightly, just outline it. And then now, 
this part it depends on how I want it. sometimes I want thin brows sometimes I want thick brows see that's what I like about uh, being able to do my own brows I can make them real thick I can make them real thin however I choose to make them however I'm feeling if I'm feeling thin or if I'm feeling thick <laughs> anyway y'all alright so today I want to do thick brows I want to be the thick girl no okay sorry alright so I love God you don't love God? What's wrong with you? That's what I need to be singing. Alright, so let me show y'all. Alright, so today I'm going to do them real thick. Let me show y'all. Alright, so I take my pencil here. Right here where I want to make it thick. See, if I want to make it thin, I come further down. But I want them thick, so I'm, I'm going to come up like this. And I just kind of do small strokes. This is something that you're going to have to, how can I say it? Practice makes perfect. You, you know, I didn't learn this overnight. I mean, I, I had some messed up brows. But the more you do it, practice makes perfect. The more you do it, the better you get at it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get into makeup, you say you like makeup, but you don't know how to do it, you got to start somewhere. Watch some YouTube videos like I did. Watch YouTube videos, you know, whatever you got to do to learn. And you can learn. I learned. I've been wearing makeup forever. But YouTube helped me make my makeup better. Alright, so y'all can see. See how I'm doing that? So you can see how thick the brow gonna be. Let me show y'all. Trying to turn so y'all can see. And I gotta look in the mirror at the same time. And I just kinda slowly, like I'm shaping it. Like when you doing these brows, like you you doing makeup, you gotta turn into an artist. If you ain't an artist, get into makeup, your hand gonna be an artist, cause you got to do all kinds of stuff now. Got to learn how to be an artist. Alright, and I just take it up like that. And I like this part thick. And then I'm going to thin it out as I go. Slowly, I just do it slowly. Like that. Y'all see. Bringing it up. Up, and then I'm slowly bringing it down to blend in with this. We'll see. And I'm starting to bring my line down to blend in with my end. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. Get y'all close up. Look, see how I did that? This is my bottom line. And then my top line. However you want them shaped, but this is how I shape mine. And then I bring my end down to the end like that. Whoa. <sighs> Anyway, let me move that out of the way. Okay, so anyway, y'all. You see how I brought that up because that's how I want my brow thick. And then I bring it down with the bottom line. That's just how I do it. You know, make it easy for myself. They already take all day. We ain't got all day. So I use my pencil and I just start filling it in. Start filling it in like that. Start filling it in. Don't push too hard. Don't do too much. Don't do too much. Just lightly. Lightly do your little strokes like that. Y'all see it? Like I said, this is something you have to do. You have to do this over and over and over. You know, you can't just do it one time and think you're going to be an expert. Just got to do it. Over and over. And the more you do it, the better you'll get. See, I'm just lightly filling it in. Making sure I'm filling in all the little spots. See that? Oh, Y'all see it? <laughs> Y'all see it? Look at that. I'm telling you. you. You don't get this overnight. This is something you got to do over and over and over, y'all. Over and over. Okay. So now I'm going to do the other eye. Look at that. Wait till I clean it up with the concealer. Wait. Okay. So let's do this other side. And the more you do it, the easier and quicker you'll get at it. Like, quicker. Yeah, quicker. You'll get faster and faster. Let's do this other side. Try to turn this way so y'all can see me. This side always give me the most trouble. I don't know why. Okay, I did pretty good today. Probably because I'm filming. But, alright. 
and we're just going to shade that in. Doing light strokes. Don't do too much. Don't do too much. Ooh. Do too much. And just lightly fade it in. Ooh. Lightly fade it in. And so like I told y'all, this side always gives me the most problems. I don't know why. But you see this side a little thicker. It's a little thicker than that one. You can tell. I can tell, but that's all right, because I'll use when I clean it up. Okay, so look, we, we already got our brows already done. I did that in like two minutes. The more you do it, the better you'll get. So, I did that in two minutes. A while ago, took me about two hours. The more you do it, the better you'll get, girl. All right, so let's move on to our concealer that I'm going to be using. Uh, basically, I just use um my... my um, my, my concealer, duh. I use my concealer, like my lighter shade under my brows. That's what I like. Some people uh, use their regular uh, shade of uh, foundation to clean up. But I like using the uh, lighter version, which gives me like a little highlight. <laughs> Y'all will see. So, all right, today I'm using the Fenty Beauty. This is in the color Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Uh, but I'm using it, you know, as the concealer. Uh, let me see what this is. This is in the shade... 410, the number 410. Y'all know how Fenty is. Hey, Riri. Y'all know how she do. So, yes, this is the Fenty. Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty. By the fabulous Riri. So, and the number 410. This is, like I said, this is just what I use for the highlight. Alright, and I like wetting my brush. I like wetting this before I put you know put it on show y'all how we gonna do this and just drop a little bit on my brush just drop a little bit like that and y'all see how I do it bring it in so y'all can see and this is something you gotta do slow slowly do this you are going right underneath right underneath it cleaning it up I do this slow, slowly clean it up, and you're just doing it right underneath, slowly. You slowly do it. This is the part that you know, you really got to take your time on that part. Cause you want to get it cleaned up and make it look good nice and neat and sharp under there take your time and i just bring this down and i just like just clean it up with my hand like that just clean it up you know blend it out i bring it down on my brow like that Oh, oh, <laughs> y'all ain't ready. All right, so we're gonna do the other side. Get my hand cleaned off here. We're gonna do the other side, same way. Put a little bit on my brush, and I'm gonna slowly go underneath and clean it up. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. Like I said, this is something that takes takes time. All right, so let's get this side cleaned up. And I like to look at my other side. Like, see where I said over here? Just come right on over to the same side, right, same area. I like starting down here first and then bringing it up. Slowly. Don't be in a hurry to do this part now. Don't be in a hurry. You got you got to take your time with this part now. Because this is what you're cleaning up. I take my time with that. I do not rush that. Okay, kind of bring it down. Blend it down. I'll use my finger in a minute, but I just want to sharpen it up a little bit more. 
Showing y'all how I'm doing that. Slowly taking your brush. Cleaning it up. Cleaning it up. Nice. Okay. And I just kind of blend it over here too in the middle. I just blend it down like that. When you do your makeup, it'll all come together. All right, let me kind of blend that out a little bit more. Blend that out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're looking real sharp. Now, it'll all come together when we clean up top. So, let's get a little bit more. A little bit more of our... A little bit more here. My brush. Now, you got to be careful doing this too. Don't be in a rush. I start... I'll show you guys how I start. Here. And this is where you're shaping it. Take your time. Slowly run your brush over. Bam. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. And I'm just going to blend that. Now, I'm blending. I like taking my hand and blending it out. Because the, the, warm, the warmth of your hand helps blend it out. And I bring it up, like, out that way. Blends it right on out for you. See that? Take your time. Be careful. And I take the brush. And I just slowly help blend it out. Nice and smooth. And you just blend it up with your hand. I just, I stay up more. I don't go too far down. And I just blend it right on up. Blend it. We're not really worried about up, up here. Because we're going to do our makeup. You know, that's going to all come together so all right let's do this on the side real quick and that will be the end of my brows like i said you i've been doing it forever so the longer you do it the quicker you'll do it i mean it used to be where i take almost an hour to do my brows now i'm coming to do my brows in like 10 minutes the more you do it the better you'll get so like i said this left side always give me problems but i'm gonna let y'all see it because y'all know i ain't gonna hide y'all Sometimes, yeah. But, alright. Now, this one's thicker than this one. So, as I'm cleaning it up, I'm going to thin it out a little bit. I'm trying to let y'all see. I'll just use the camera. Because I want it to match the other one. And this one I got to do real slow. Because I know I'll mess this one up in a minute. Make sure you go all the way over. See, I will mess this side up in a minute. So I'll always go slow on this side. Okay. And just blend it out. Take my hand and I just blend that right on out. Take my brush and just get that all blended out in the middle. Like this. And see? Clean it up in there like that. Do the same thing over here. I just clean it up. Clean it up in the middle with your brush. Clean everything up. 
blend a little more if it needs to come up a little bit more you just bring it up a little more gotta kind of play around with it you know to make sure they look how you want them to look just bring my brush down okay so now I'm gonna get my little funny looking brush thing y'all done seen these Alright, and I just take it, and I just do like this, take it, and I just kind of blend that front out, soften it up so it don't look so harsh. And then I just kind of come over like that. Got to be careful with that. Just take your little, little brush thing and come over like that. Get this one together. Just kind of taking and blending it out. Brushing over carefully. Bam. Hmm. Mm -hmm. See what else you need to clean up at? Okay, I got them nice and thick today. Nice and thick. Let me see. Clean up in here a little bit more. Like I said, you got to kind of play around with it. But as time goes on, you'll get it. Like I did. And that's it, y'all. <laughs> Voila. Magic. Voila. Magic. Alright, guys. That's it. That's all. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.